and welcome to Modelling Misadventures. And in today's video, I'm on to part 24 of the Lancaster Bomber. Now, the first thing I noticed when I opened the magazine for this issue was this little slip of paper here, which is talking about some assembly problems and that they've had to make some last minute modifications. And they've actually changed some of the parts. Uh, we've changed the retraction pistons and changed the strut joints. So that's really good. It shows that if uh, modelers are having problems with this build as they go along, they will react to it and respond and actually uh, redesign and reissue parts. Now, the couple of articles in this week's magazine are this one about lack of moral fiber, basically about uh, bomber crews losing their nerve, and shuttle bombing, which was flying uh, a bomber from one base, dropping its bombs, and then landing at another base to extend its range. Now in the last video from this build, we finished this Rolls-Royce Merlin engine and uh, put it on its assembly struts and that looks like it's ready to get fastened to the, the wing structure. Now in this issue, we've got a slightly bigger box and it's a bit heavier and inside, well, first of all, they've given us some pliers for some reason. Not sure why these have come along in issue 24, but of more interest is this. And you can see here that we are moving on to the undercarriage. Now these are the parts from this issue and starting with this lovely big thick rubber tire, quite heavy. That's really nice. Then we've got these oleo struts Beautiful detail, and this is all made of metal. It's a fantastic part. This is the wheel for the tire. Looks quite nice. And then we've got some more struts here. Now this little bag here, labeled 24 SP, has these replacement struts. These ones are gonna have to be thrown away. And these are the ones we're gonna have to use. These weren't actually in the cardboard box. They were in the plastic bag and I nearly threw them away. So you have to be a bit careful that you don't lose those. Now I really like the undercarriage on aircraft. I just think they're a, a brilliant structure and uh, love these ones on the Lancaster bomber. So the first thing we've got to do with this is fasten on these little tiny attachment points here, which are going to be for the retraction pistols. You've got to push that onto there. There's a bit of a tight fit to get that on. But that's what that looks like. And that's both of them on. Now this next part here is called the retraction piston and it's going to fit onto that bracket that we've just added. And there's a little pin that goes through those holes to lock it into position. Now these locking pins are absolutely tiny and uh, there's a risk that they're gonna go pinging across the floor. They have given you a few spares, but we'll have to be very careful pushing these in. And I'm just gonna try and squeeze this through. Perfect. And you can see I've put a little bit of heat shrink tubing on these pliers that they provided just to make sure the paint wet doesn't get damaged. So that's those retraction pistons fitted. These pins are really good actually. They've got a, a grooved end on one side so when you push it in it grips the plastic so it stays put. Next up we've got to fit this retraction strut to the main undercarriage shock absorbers. It's going to go in there like that and be fitted with another one of those little pins. So that's the retraction struts and pistons on. Those pins are a tight fit. It's looking good. Now we're going to put the wheel on the tire. Well, 
that went on pretty easy. And now we're going to put the tyre and wheel onto the landing gear. A bit tight this, you have to squeeze it in. And once that's lined up, we've got this pin here. It's going to go all the way through. Hold it in place. And that is the first part of this landing gear complete. And I've got to say, it looks really nice. Really chunky, heavy, great detail, great quality, fitted together perfectly. Brilliant job. Now we just see how this looks compared to the real thing. If you look at this picture from the Haynes manual, which shows the undercarriage and its shock absorbers, this is actually looking pretty realistic. I think the detail on that is lovely. Slightly different colour in the picture, but still it looks fantastic. So that is it for issue 24, this lovely start to the uh, undercarriage. That looks really nice. So uh, I think it's a good time to actually see where we're up to in this model. So this is everything we've got so far. Got the front end of the fuselage and front turret and cockpit all done. And we've got the fuselage going all the way back there towards the rear turret. And now we've got a Rolls-Royce Merlin engine and the start of the undercarriage. It's coming on, isn't it? So that's it for this stage. I hope you like that undercarriage. I certainly did. So I'll say thanks for watching and I'll see you next time on Modelling Misadventures.